Hi, I'm Francis, the host of this show, Cooking with a Dog. こんにちは。今日はこちらの酒かすを使って体の芯から温まる酒のかす汁を作ります。First, cut the lightly salted salmon fillets into bite-sized pieces. You can also use yellow tail instead of the salmon. Place the salmon into a pot of boiling water. When the surface turns slightly white, remove and place the pieces into a bowl of cold water. Rinse the salmon thoroughly and carefully remove the scales. Place the pieces onto a mesh strainer covered with a paper towel. This process will remove any unwanted flavor. Next, using a paper towel, remove the excess oil of the abulage, thin deep fried tofu. Cut the abulage in half lengthwise. Stack the halves on top of each other and cut the abulage into 1 cm pieces. After cutting the abulage, be sure to clean the oil from the cutting board and the blade of the knife. Now, shred the spring onion leaf diagonally. The cuts look like the shape of bamboo leaves, making it visually appealing. As for the cone jack, divide it into bite sized pieces using a spoon. The uneven cuts will help the cone jack to absorb the broth later. Place the cone jack into a pot of water and bring it to a boil. Boil the cone jack for about 30 seconds. This will also help reduce any unwanted flavor. Remove and place it into a mesh strainer. Now, let's make the kasujiru. Place the dashi stock in a pot and add the daikon radish and carrot. Add the cone jack, abulage, and salmon. Heat the pot on medium heat. Cover, but leave the lid slightly open to prevent the broth from developing any fishy odor. Bring it to a boil and remove the foam. Next, add a small amount of the broth to the sake kasu or sake leaves, a byproduct of sake making. Cover the pot again and cook on medium low heat. Meanwhile, dilute the sake kasu evenly with a balloon whisk. Add the miso and combine the mixture. After simmering for a total of 12 to 13 minutes, the vegetables will soften. Now, place the sake kasu and miso mixture into a mesh strainer and press it through the strainer. The mixture will also dissolve in the broth while simmering, so it is not necessary to remove the lamps completely. Distribute the sake kasu and miso. Add the white part of the long green onion sliced diagonally. Then, simmer for 3 to 5 more minutes until the long green onion softens. Now it is ready. Ladle all the ingredients into a bowl along with the broth. The sake kasu is full of savory taste, and the salmon and the vegetables also bring out the flavor of the broth. Garnish with the spring onion leaves. Finally, sprinkle on the shichimi chili powder. Depending on the saltiness of the salmon and the type of miso, 
The overall flavor of this dish will change, so be sure to try the broth and adjust the amount of miso accordingly. We recommend dissolving the sake kasu with the hot broth instead of hot water. This will avoid diluting the delicious soup. Good luck in the kitchen!